Here I go, stepping up to the excellent in, excellence in cardboard microphone, fresh out of the mattress, onto the microphone. How are ya? Greetings from Western New York, from the lunchroom, going out to all yo, all you cardboard fanatics. How howdy doody, Chad West. Good morning, game time, Richard, Richard Woodard. How you doing, man? We we this sold out. Good to see you, man. Thanks for swinging by the lunchroom. I I know what that's about. I can fix that. <clears throat> Thank you, Mrs. Lunch, for bringing the coffee. Uh, I just, I'm not even joking, guys. I I, uh, I just rolled out of bed not even five minutes ago. I, I didn't set my alarm because I don't usually sleep past noon. I did go to bed at 5.30 this morning. Um. I had a I had a bit of an issue at the L L uh, 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 There we go. Missing some lights. I had the issue at the old work job last night. Uh, I'm doing good. Hey, there's Dustin. Richard, so this one is sold out. I do have more on the site. Uh, this is going to be the only one I'm going to be doing today though. Uh the if any, if the other two sell out on the site, we'll. I could do those tomorrow around the lunch hour. I should have say lunch hour, twelve, twelve thirty. Um, I just rolled out of bed. Just rolled out. I'm, I'm still. I'm drinking the coffee, drinking some water. I, I ran around like a busy bee. I got. I got to get hydrated here. Um, my lungs are full of flour. We had a. We had a flour catastrophe at work. But I owe you guys cardboard. I promised you cardboard today at noon, and I'm delivering it 41 minutes late. So, <clears throat> yeah, I apologize, Richard. This one sold out. There are two other ones on the site, and I would text somebody. I'd, I'd, I'd say, yeah, yeah, but look, at my phone is dead or Uno. I got nothing here. I got nothing. Hello. I don't have no bars. I have an, I have no way to see bars. My phone is D-E-D -E -D dead. It, this happens a lot. This this is a very old phone that I have. And I'm very old. I, I, I refuse to get a new phone every year. So we'll put that on the charger. No problem, Richard. Yeah, hopefully you can grab uh, grab a spot. Or if you're welcome to hang out and just uh, watch the cards being pulled. We're going to get some fire here. I do have everybody's name up ready for the screen. Oh, that's not it. I'm not going to waste any time here. We're going to get you the cardboard you deserve. Uh, I do have a bunch of new names I see on the list, so thank you for the newcomers. The new guy, Mojo, gets in effect right now. Thank you for the folks. Crikey closed it out. Uh, Jason McCouston, McCouston, I don't know if you're here. Thank you for joining new guy, Mojo, and Gary Schneider. I want to send an email. Just to let them know I am here. They may have stopped by at noon and said, what is this lazy bum doing today? Hey, there's Tombo. He got a spot. Thanks, Tom. I saw your spot come over. I got you on the list. We're going to randomize teams in a second. I just want to send an email to some of the new folks that showed up and uh, give them a heads up of the lunch program. I don't want to head on into the cardboard reality without them, with, without giving them a chance to uh, click on their phones and listen to my wonderful morning voice. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I'm going next to the coffee. Here we go. Here's my coffee cup. We got Darth Vader, Star Wars. This is my uh, coffee. Ah, cheers. Let's get the coffee down. Mmm. Fly fish ego. Oh, boy. Hey, there's Clyde. Fly fish ego. Man, I like your name, man. I'm a big-time fisherman. 
Thanks, Steve. Well, keep the rubber side down and keep it in between the ditches, but go ahead and keep the lunchroom on the speaker, man. I, I'll keep you entertained. Whoa, watch out. There's an old lady that just turned without using her signal. She she would have if she could see over her steering wheel. <laughs> I told Jason about you last night. It's his first break. Well, Jason, thank you. Thank you, and I appreciate it. And thank you, Tom. Good luck. We'll get you in. We're going to get you some random teams here. That's awesome, man. I appreciate spreading the word. So, all right. So, you're Gary, Flyfish Ego. I, I'm actually getting ready here in western New York. Um, I'm going to be going. I was talking um, yesterday with my fishing counterpart. We go out and chase the rainbow rainbow and brown trout here, mostly rainbow, April 1st. They all run up the creeks here. They're probably running today because it's a gorgeous 60 degrees out here in western New York. And when there's warm weather, the fish run up the streams and lay their eggs. And Fisher for Cards says, anything with fish is great. Just ask... Fishing for Cards Wife. All right, let me uh, let me send. Well, I, I won't send you one, uh, Jason, uh, Gary, but I'm gonna send the. There's two other newcomers, and I want to give them a fair shake. I'm gonna send them an email real quick to let them know that we're going to break. Um, I do have two other breaks up there. Like I said, I won't be getting to those today. I'm going to do my best. Uh, if, if those sell out by tomorrow at this time, I'll get on at the lunch hour and break them tomorrow. I do have an uh, order in. I got I got a couple boxes of uh, the new Bowman baseball coming. I broke a ton of it last year. I, I I'm I'm on the same track with every other cardboard that's been released in the last 12 months. It's way overpriced. I remember paying $80, $75 a box for it last year and thinking $75 was overpriced. They're selling it now at $150. And I, I got some coming. I'm not buying a case. I just, I, I, I have a feeling I buy a case and the price goes down to $100 a box. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to refrain. I'll have some here on Friday, some new Dunn Russ. There's Jason, and then Chicken Rob. Let's see, Rob, Rob, Robert Rebello, the new guy, Chicken Rob. Oh, he did not send me an email. I'm just going to send one to Jason. Hey, it's Randy Dean. I told true that. Love it. I spend a ton of time in Montana. Oh, that's fantastic. Montana is the fly fishing capital of the United States. I've never been farther west than uh, the farthest west I've been from western New York is Des Moines, Iowa. That, that's the farthest west I've ever made it. Did not get any fly fishing done there, but it was a beautiful part of the country, I will say. I, I really enjoyed my time in Iowa. Do a lot of fishing also. Bass and crappie. You know what? I, I love my trout. I love getting out, chasing the trout. Trout are such a delicate fish. that they, they just come up, especially fly fishing. I don't, I'm not good at fly fishing. I'm not coordinated. I don't have the patience. My, I have a good friend that's fly or die. 
He's a fly or die guy. And I got to say, watching those trout sometimes come up and grab his fly are just one of the best things ever. Trout are kind of a finicky fish. They'll come up and just open their mouth and let the hook float in with the water when they open their mouth. And then wham, bam, you got yourself a delicious set of loins. I am, I grew up as one and I still, I live by, there is nothing better than a small mouth bass on the end of your line. I'm a small mouth basser. I like to go out there and kick some bass ass, man. I, uh, uh, I have a lake that's, uh, about 45 minutes south of me that the city I live at pulls its fresh water from. And uh, what I usually drive down there, I have a little aluminum boat, a 14 foot aluminum boat with a five and a half horse motor. And that's all you can put on that lake. They don't allow any recreation on it. It's only strictly, the only recreation is for kayaking and boats with a 9.9 motor or smaller or 16 foot or smaller. Nothing, no big bass boats. They don't let any of that. It's, it's, and uh, I, 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 when you get into a smallmouth on there, you, it's like it's comparable to Moby Dick. There's monsters in there. You get a smallmouth, there's largemouth in there. There's crappy. They stock it with trout, but uh, I never get any trout. Um, and then uh, a lot of pickerel, a lot of grass pickerel, chain pickerels, they call them, which is kind of a, uh, it's in the same fish company as a pike. A lot of people are familiar with northern pikes, but the grass pickerel, they're bony as heck, but you can eat them. Just finished up ice fishing. Easy Belize, off the ice. How'd you do? Did you get your perch? Crappy is my favorite. I like crappy. I've never gone out and just chased crappy. Time to crack some beers. I, go, I tried to go fishing on Dusty's website for a Casey Martin card. <laughs> just finished up ice fishing. It. Clyde the crappy make excellent fish fry. Yeah, uh, we actually two weeks ago, my friend uh, the, has stopped here a couple times. He uh, he he's been on the ice quite a bit this winter, and he brought over some perch that he filleted. He brought over uh, about fifteen pounds of it. Oh, the uh, there ain't nothing like fi- per- perch and crappy. Smallies are the best. I love getting a small mouth. Nice. It would have looked nice in my collection. Catching bass under the ice is a blast. Yeah, bass under the ice has got to be something. Hey, it's Blaze. How you doing? Hold, keep the L, Blaze. Love walleye fishing. Uh, yeah, walleye are like the big cousin to perch. Black bass is my favorite. Got it. Black bass. I've never. Are that black bass is essentially rock bass? We, uh, there's all kinds of names for bass. There's, I used to go to a, when I was a kid, my uncle would take me to a rock bass tournament. And it was great because he was a professional fisherman. He actually, he was sponsored. He had a nice fancy, he had a nice fancy bass boat. This was my step uncle. And uh, I remember he took me uh, to this one tournament and it was like a juniors tournament. It was one, one adult and one youth, ute, one ute. So it says, so says, uh, you know, my cunny, my 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 cousin Vinny Testaverde, one one adult and one Ute, and uh, there was four of us on the boat. There was two adults and two and me and my brother, and I was uh, I was paired with my uncle, and we shared the live well, which was great because I was able to use his fish for my try to get my trophy. <laughs> Oh, the days are young. All right, I, 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 ripping out that email. Let's get some randomization. Let's get you some cardboard. Let's fish for some monsters here. Let's get our line in the water. Let's get the big bad Torkelson. Who knows? Let's get something delicious to eat here. Let's get some, make your cardboard dreams come true. Here we go. We're going to randomize you. We'll go back to the randomizer, get you a random team, and then I'll open the floor for trading. <clears throat> Richard Woodard did a tournament fish for bass for about 30 years. Oh, wow. No kidding. Saltwater. Oh, okay. Black bass is saltwater. I, I, I'm li- I am landlocked here. I am nowhere near any saltwater bodies. There's Rob, Texas Briggs. 
Musky fishing is a blast. I, I've never chased the muskies. I, I would never have a problem doing it, though. I, if I if the muskies presented themselves, I would have myself chasing them. Uh, April 1st, though, here in Western New York, uh, the, the draw here in Western New York, and we get people out of state to come, is outside of Watkins Glen, there is a tributary that flows into Seneca Lake, uh, a lot of people have heard of Watkins Glen, New York. It's where uh, NASCAR goes. NASCAR, and uh, you know they have they have big concerts there. Fish has played a couple concerts at this at the racetrack. But Watkins Glen, New York, there's a tributary that runs into Seneca Lake, which is the biggest finger lake in Western New York. And I'm not kidding. These trout, the the, the, the there's lots of. When I grew up, there used to be people there fishing side by side, nuts to butts. There was always people shoulder to shoulder. These days, I don't see so many people there, which is okay. I, I don't, I don't, we don't need an army there, but there's still a good amount of people. The rainbow trout that come out of that lake are amazing, and they're they're not native, but they're wild rainbows. They're not stocked. They're wild rainbows. I guess you can't say native because the only native fish in Western New York is a brook trout. I learned that from my fly or die, buddy. Well, all right. we got. I, I can sit here and talk about how big the fish I caught for years, but you want your cardboard. Let's go seven times on the randomizer. Let's go. Let's get it, dudes. All right, here we go. There is the random.org. We're going to go seven times. Let's get the list in your face, loud and proud. We got Lynette starting it out. Thank you, Lynette. I appreciate you. Putting your line in the water first and crikey, closing it out. We're gonna I'm gonna copy pasta you over here to the randomizer and let's go seven. All right, one, two, three, four some, five alive, pick up sticks, it's six, seven come heaven, hard to handle Randall. On the top, and Clyde Petty with those extra strong shoulders holding you all on his back on the bottom of the doggy pile. Let's go back. Let's take it back here. We'll put your randomized list right here. Let's take 30 MLB teams. Uh, how did your team do yesterday? The Yankees got spanked by Riley Green. As a New Yorker, I am a... Avid Yankee fan, and Detroit is looking hot in the spring. Seven times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three some, four, five alive, six some, and lucky number seven. Where will they fall? The Philly Willies, way up top, down to the Miami Marlins. And let's line you up. All right. That might be hard to see. Have no fear. The other screen is here. Let's bring it on over. For your viewing pleasure, let's make this easy for you. Let me go ahead and rend let me go ahead and alphabetize things so you can see them up front. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. One second. Take a look. Read them and weep. My condolences and my congratulations all in the same breath. I gotta I gotta cough it out here for a second. I'll be right back. All right, coughing's done. There we go. Rockies are winning. The Rockies are winning. Wow, one spot, and I get the Tigers. Tombo, you got the team in the dream, didn't you? Detroit Rock City Tigers. Man, and the Tigers are looking tough, man. They beat the Yankees yesterday. I, re I got the highlight on my phone saying Riley Green smacked a two-run homer, I believe. Taking it out, taking out the Yankees. 
It is only spring training, so it really doesn't count, but it really kind of does. So if anybody wants to put trades, put it out there. I'm going to go down the list right now. Good luck, good luck. Uh, let me read up. Blaze Watkins Glen, I went to a lot of concerts out there. I don't know which ones you went to, Blaze, but yes, Watkins Glen, uh, they have the they had the largest concert ever to exist in the United States. It was not Woodstock. Woodstock was not the biggest concert. All right, if you're a music head, which I am myself, I love I love my music and I like old music. They had the dream ticket at Watkins Glen for one day. And I think they ended up playing for a couple. I don't know how many days they played. But they had my favorite band of all times. Well, my second favorite band of all time. Allman Brothers on the ticket. Not only the Allman Brothers, they had the band, Levon Helm, and Grateful Dead all on one ticket. In 1972, I believe, it was called Summer Jam. There was, they had cars lined up for 20 miles trying to get into this area. And the only way into Watkins Glen are two-lane roads. There is no highways that run into Watkins Glen. They had, they had the back roads and dirt roads packed. People had people sleeping in their backyards. Summer Jam, I believe in 1972, the biggest ticket. My, uh, there are three of my favorite bands. I love the Grateful Dead. I love the Almond Brothers. I, I, I absolutely I love Almond Brothers. One of my favorite bands of all time. And then the band, love the band. A little stage fright, baby. Uh, what do we got? Trades. I mean, anybody want to trade for Russ? Red Sox, Miami for Cubs, Mariners for Astros, Rays for Rockies. Uh, Fly Fish Ego said, no thanks. He's going to hold on. He's going to hold on. Eric Moore, Mariners for Red Sox. Cubs for Tigers. All right, hopefully I can keep up with all these. Easy Pleasy says, time to get ready for spring turkey season. You ready to chase some turkeys, huh? Gobble, gobble, gobble. We've got, I, I live next to... Uh, uh, um, a uh, right up the road is a uh, is a quarry, a land uh, where they mine rock, and a lot of the land is set aside. There's a bunch of country, and one of my neighbors up the street here feeds turkeys. She's got turkey feeders in her front yard, and it's weird how it's set up too because there's a fence on the side of her property, and she's got the turkey feeders right in front of her front door. And we'll be walking down the sidewalk, and you'll see the turkeys eating in the feeder, and then they'll see us. And they actually come running right at the sidewalk, and then they take a turn around the fence and run into the woods. And these are some fat tom. There's, I've seen a fat tom up there, man. These are some big, wild turkey. I'm surprised uh, I'm surprised they're still around. We have it all in western New York here. I've never gone out. I, I've shot a turkey before. And when I was a teenager, I shot one right out of a tree once. It's the only time, I, and I wasn't hunting for that. We were just, we just had our guns as kids, as teenagers wandering through the woods I grew up. Eric Moore, Mariners for Red Sox, Cubs for Tigers. Everybody trying to get those Tigers. Eric Moore said, okay. So you got to trade Red Sox. Turkey hunting is a blast. Do you uh, you get out there and call them easy? You get the 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 get the old clucker in the in between the the tongue and the jaw and cluck 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 cluck. Mariners for Red Sox. Okay, it's a done deal. All right, Rob, you got it. Mariners for Red Sox. So, Flyfish Ego. I bl- wait a minute for. All right, Mariners for Red Sox. So oh, Eric Moore. All right, here we go. Eric Moore. Rob. Text breaks. There you go, guys. The alert. The trade has been c- confirmed. Hey, it's downtown Gary Brown. 
The man, the myth, the zombie slayer. Decoys and calls. Oh, I gotcha. We got about 20 turkeys that live in the woods in our farm. Oh, man, that's cool. I don't know if that's good. I know the turkey. I hope you don't get assaulted by the turkeys. Those turkeys can be aggressive, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go down the list here. That, that actually would be a good thing if, uh, you know, one of them gets fat enough, uh, come Thanksgiving, be like, oh, now we're down to 19 turkeys that live in the woods next to our farm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blaze on top. Keep the L. He's got the Houston Astros. The West is the best. The Turkey Man. Hotlanta Braves. Wow, I, I think you're a Braves fan, aren't you? Chicken Rob. Noob Guy Mojo coming in with the San Diego Padres. Miami Marlins going to Clyde Petty. Crikey with the Yankee Dankies. Dandy Andy with his two spots. He's got the Cleveland Steamers along with the Washington Nationals. Minnesota Twins going to Daniel Wicks. Dave McCoy, allstarbreaks.com's got Arizona Diamondbacks. Dustin Fisher got the Tampa Bay Rays. Rob, Texas Breaks, made that trade. Got the Boston Red Sox. Easy Polizzi with the Cincinnati Reds. Gary Schneider, new guy mojo, getting that Chicago Cubs. Hard to handle, Randall. Don't look now. The pump don't work because Randall stole the handle. Got the Willie Phillies. Oakland Athletics going to Holly Petty. Jason McCouston, another new guy, Mojo. Texas Rangers, along with the Chicago White Sox. Jenny, 10 fingers across Dan's face. Los Angeles Angles. Kells West. Hells to the Kells. The West is the best. It's the Brew Crew. Lynette with the Dirty Birds. St. Louis Cardinals, Mako Mark, greetings, Mark. I don't know if you're up and about. I know you're coming. You're living at large in Tacoma, Washington, east coast to west coast. Good morning. Got the Rocky Tops. OMG, uh, get better and f cancer. OMG. San Francisco Giants, New York Metropolitans, Pittsburgh Pirates, and the B Town Orioles. Randy Dandy Dean's got the Los Angeles Dodgers. Eric Moore on the trades, got the Seattle Mariners. Steve Wood, got the Casey Royals. Tombo, team in a dream, Detroit Rock City Tigers. And Weston Beard, down on the bottom, last but not least, got the Toronto Bee Jays. And there it is. There's your lineup. I'm still, still open for trades. Ammo shortage has me going nuts. I can't find my turkey loads. Oh, no. Time to start packing your own shells. Astros in the box. <laughs> Blaze. Sorry, man. At Blaze. Rob, Texas Breaks. Uh, Rob usually is a uh, man of, uh, of Houston. I have so many Riley Green cards from Panini Prism Draft. Hopefully he keeps it up. Yeah, Riley Green smacked one yesterday, right? Riley Green, I, that's what I saw on my update. My phone's dead at the moment. Riley Green came through for the Detroit team and uh, took them over the top of the Yankees. So we'll leave the platform open if anybody wants to trade. Uh, hope, welcome to the new folks. Hopefully you've uh, nestled in, got your spot at the lunch table. Get yourself some afternoon cardboard. Don't be afraid to speak up. If you got any questions or anything, we're here to oblige. If you're not familiar with breaks, we could we could tell you. There is a new guy mojo, and it usually always works. They always get the good stuff. <laughs> right, I'm going to give it to 110 Eastern Standard Time. Two minutes, two minutes, and we're going to bust this open. Yeah, um, I, I heard there was the ammo shortage going on. I haven't I haven't been out checking for. Uh, I know Easy Pleasy. I know you're an avid fisher, fisher hunter man, so you probably got tapped into that market better than me. Hopefully they uh, catch up. They stomp some tomatoes and they catch up. Will Castro hit a dinger yesterday? 
Oh, Willie Castro hit a dinger. <laughs> I thought you said I was. I thought that was a question. Willie Castro hit a dinger yesterday. Detroit's looking good, easy. Detroit looks dang good right now. They they look excellent in spring training. I don't know what happened. My thoughts were the Dodgers. I, I still think the Dodgers are unstoppable. If the Dodgers win, if, don't if the Dodgers lose ten games. They should be. They there's some explaining to do. Uh, pa, the I I I still think the uh, the San Diego Padres they got a great team. I think Tampa Bay is stronger than ever. I think Tampa Bay, even with or without Wander Franco, is going to be a, a a team to reckon with. And who's the other team that I thought was looking really good? Baltimore. I think Baltimore's got a great lineup. Phil's playing Detroit now. Oh, boy. Phillies were whacking the Yankees, and Detroit whacked the Yankees. Let's see if what happens. <clears throat> Philly does not. Philly isn't a slouch. They've got Brick, Bohm, and JT Real Muto. JD Real Muto gets his finger fixed. I'm in San Diego. I can't wait for baseball season. Go Padres. Yeah. Let, hope those San Diego Friar Tucks. Really come through. I mean, they've got they've got a great team assembled. They uh they they're gonna give uh, you know that's gonna be great watching the Dodgers and the Padres play. That was uh, that was one of my favorite plays of last year. Um, fish fish and ego. I I say it on here all the time, but uh, there's a highlight. I won't. Oh, I might play it right quick. I'm gonna show you the 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 the, the, the Fernando Tatis. It was the Fernando Tatis homer in the playoffs, I think it was. Got robbed by Cody Bellinger. I, I think it's just just two of the best names in baseball. Cody Bellinger and Fernando Tatis. Tatis cracks a homer. Bellinger steals it off the wall, and Bruzar Granderall loses his mind. Cody Bellinger, and then I, I, it's hard to find. It's hard to find the whole thing because they don't. I don't see any edits. It's hard to find a good edit of it. I'm gonna go over here. Let's check out. I like this John boy. He's actually pretty funny. I, I subscribe to this guy. A hundred already. This is ball to deep center field. Ballinger twisting around. Still going. He's at the wall. Oh. He waits. And he made the catch. Cody Bellinger. A robbery of Tatis. Keeping the Dodgers in front for three. No, that's a, see, I can't I can never find the whole play. Because afterwards, Tatis went into... He went into the dugout and he that made a face little cry that is usually covered by her phone. As oh, don't remind you. <laughs> From the biggest spot of Gratterall's career right here. Well, Tatis on the year. Six homers what on I the fastballs. What I love was the fit of Tatis. Two I love Bruce Darling. Lots of dying pitches that Gratterall has. You saw 100 already. This is Bond to deep center field. Like Bellinger twisting around. Still going. He's at the wall. That's time to do it. It was great play. It was great play by Bellinger. I mean, I'm not a Dodgers fan. This is a robbery of Tatis. Keeping the Dodgers in front for a three. Grattle. Game's over. Game's not even close to over. He can do it all, folks. This is going to be one of those highlights you see for a long time if the Dodgers have a special postseason this year. Gratterall says, who does? Who does my Throws his hat. Throws his glove. Back flip. Glove flip. Wow. You figured it would continue into these higher stakes matchups. This tight game two. Motion swimming over. I'm done. I don't want to get. I don't want to get kicked. I don't want to get kicked off of the YouTube for uh, copyright reasons. All right, yeah, that was my favorite play of 2020. I loved it. Everything about it. I love the reactions. That's the stuff you, lo you live for. All right, no more trades. Let's quit the the raggling, the daggling, the bangling. Let's 
get you your cardboard. Let's get in. We're going to do Bowman Chrome Xbox last. Let's get in and get you some draft. Let's get you three autos. Let's get you the parallels. Let's get you the fire. Thanks, everybody, for joining today. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. I am fresh out of the bed into the, the YouTubes. Good luck, everybody. Randy Dean see now we're talking. <laughs> Randy, you're a you're a Dodgers fan, right? I do believe you are, so. All right. Enough enough talking. Let's drop the checklist. Any questions, bring them out. We're gonna I got my protection ready. Thanks again for joining Lunchbox on this lunch hour. We got more breaks on the site if you want to do more. I won't be able to do them today, but tomorrow I'm wide open if anything sells out on there. Let's get at it. Good luck. Good luck. We'll let's go. All right. Speaking of the Dodgers, there they are. First card up, Michael Bush. Dirt Rat, stop for some lunch. Thanks, Dirt Rat. How are you, man? Let's go. Bush, Soderstorm, Case Williams, Reed Detmers, D.L. Hall. There's Jerk Stud, Keston Jerk Stud up there next. We'll top load the Jerk Studs. For the B-Town Orioles. We are doing good, Dirt Rat. Good to see you, man. Thanks for swinging by. Levi Prater. Andrew Vaughn. Gage Workman. Brady McConnell. Jared Jones. Bailey Horn. And here comes the Reflectors. For the Cleveland Steamers. We got a nice refractor, Bowman Chrome, Owen Miller. Who the heck is Owen Miller? He was 84th in the 2018 round draft. Must be he uh, might be getting a look. Here we go Cleveland Steamers, first refractor. Get my checklist up. That's you, Dandy Andy. Heliot Ramos Reflector. I top load the uh, reflectors here. These reflectors are gorgeous cards. They deserve the love of our top loader, and they're going to get it. There we go. Heliot Ramos and Daxton Fullman, Bowman First Chrome. Colt Keith. Detroit Rock City. Ricky Hines. Logan Gilbert. Asa Lakey, Bowman first, Chrome, like that one, and wow, 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 we got us a decent, decent auto, I did not think I'd have an auto first pack, but it is, we're coming out, we're coming out of here with fire, AC Lacey, Kansas City Royals, there you go, Steve Wood, nice Chrome, and here comes our first hit, nice one, class of 2020, Garrett Mitchell, out of 250, I gotta have more cowbell, baby. West is the best. All oh, hells yell, Kells. Here we go. Kells West coming out with the first big bad hit. Not a bad one at all. Bravo, bravo. Wow. That's a great one. That's a that's a butte, Clark. That's a butte. It's a butte, Clark. It's a butte. <laughs> Garrett Mitchell out of 250 refractor class of 2020. I don't know how rare these inserts are, but I like them. Oh, 
Hells to the Kells. She's got the first hit. What are you? Got, all right, now I got to be nice to you, nice to Kelly. Chad, you got to see if she wants to trade you a Garrett Mitchell for uh, your 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 2020 Acunas. Franchise futures: Fulton and Max Meyer. Go for Miami, and then into the paper: Casey Martin. Ronnie Mauricio, Nico Holsizer, Owen Miller, Zach Viener, Ryan Jensen, J Rod, Sam Weatherly, Christian Robinson, Tyler the Freeman, and Quinn Preister. There we go. First back down, and the fire is here. All right, let's go. Are the autos on the last? I always forget where they put the autos. I did. I got this box upside down. Let's not open all the autos first. Maybe I'll flip it up. Joe Boyle, Logan Alon, Will Klein, Alaric Soler, Matthew Dyer, Keanu Cavaco, Casey Schmidt, Kirby, Mike Ciani, Jarrar and Carnarcion, David Calabrese, Nolan freaking Gorman. And here we go. Reflector time. Milan Tolentino for more love for the Cleveland Steamers. Cleveland. The mistake by the lake getting their stuff done here. Tampa Bay Rays, Nico Holsizer. Loving the looks of Tampa Bay this year. I actually don't love the looks of Tampa Bay. As a Yankee fan, they're going to be a tough cookie to crack. D.L. Hall, Baltimore Orioles. Chrome, Aaron Shortridge. Pittsburgh Pirates, Chrome, Ronaldo Hernandez, Tampa Bay, Chrome, Holden Powell, Washington Nationals, the Rutch, 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 Rutch is in the batting line. Saw him, um, saw him at bat against the Yankees. What a lineup! Listen to this. The lunchroom fanatics will like this one. The lineup went. They had the, the lineup. It went Edley Rutschman, Cedric Mullins, Trey Mankini. I'm like, wow, what a lineup. Not a bad one. <laughs> Rutschman to Mullins to Mankini. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, Cedric Mullins is going to rule the world someday. We're going to, uh, you'll, you, you will have to get rid of the U.S. dollar Bring out all of your Edley, your Cedric Mullen cards and use them as currency. It'll be the Mullins, Mullins note. Grips of greatness. Jason Dominguez. Yankee Dankies getting one here. This one I don't see. Yankees outfielder. Glimpse of greatness. The teenager for the Yankee organization. Sammy Infante. Kyle Isbell, Connor Phillips, Mitchell Parker, Hudson Haskin, Ryan Murphy, Max Meyer, Alexander Canario, Tink Henke, Toglia, and Trent Palmer. All right, next pack up. Well, I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. I hope you didn't wake up and get bit by Joe Biden's dogs this morning. Joe Biden's dogs making their way to the uh, the front of the news line. Hunter Green, Holden Powell, Rutch, Tyler Brown, Ryan Rollison, Justin Lange, Carson Tucker, Christian Chamberlain, Jordan Westborg, Espino, Cole Henry, Jay Groom. And Bowman first reflector, Ben Hernandez for the KC Royals. 
There you go, Steve Wood. More KC love. Two KC reflectors back to back, belly to belly. Look at that. You got the uh, Hernandez. Two pitchers, too. Wait, no, no, that's shortstop. Sorry. I tried to get you two pitchers. I know the value lies in the pitchers in baseball. I'm sorry. I had to get you a shortstop. Bowman first chrome reflector. You know, uh, this is what I like. Uh, I think someone said this yesterday. The prospecting is the fun thing in this, the Bowman product. Four years down the road, that could be a monster card. Nick Lofton could be the next Pete Alonzo. Isaiah Green, Bowman first chrome for the Metropolitans. Riley Green, there he is. Getting the attention of the Yankee fans. Not the attention we want to give him, but I want to give him. Put him a top loader for uh, hitting it out of the park yesterday. Fifth overall in the 2019 draft. What a stud. Jimmy Glowinky. That's a good Bowman first chrome. Glowinky. Where did he go? 68th overall. For the Giants. Connor Phillips. We got us a sparkle darkle coming. Mitchell Parker. Reed Detmers, and here goes. Here comes the fancy card coming up. How about Detroit Love? There you go, Tombo. Just, uh, just top-loaded one. You got a Bowman first sparkle card, Trey Cruz. Wow, what a gorgeous card, man. Bowman does it right. Uh, I, I like the Bowman product. I've said it before. I'll say it again. This is the creme of baseball cards. Nice, nice hit there, Tom. Hope you're having fun at work. Yeah! Trey Cruz. What's the scope on Trey Cruz? Where's my Detroit fans at? Easy Palizzi. Trey Cruz, 73rd overall. May not be the beast. May not be a Riley Green player, but. Nonetheless, Bowman first sparkle, or what do they call these? These are uh, speckle, speckle cards, speckle, wackle. Nice, nice, nice looking card there. Clayton Beater, Ronaldo Hernandez, Hunter Barnhart, Cantillo, Cody Hose, Josh Young, Lodolo, Austin Wells, Werner Blakely, Fosco. And Tristan Casas. You guys see Bobby Witt hit that 484 foot bomb the other day. Carter Sanders, the Sandman. How are you? I did see that. I didn't see it personally, but I, I saw the highlights of it. Bobby Witt, what a beast, huh? How you doing, Sandman? Dropping that baseball knowledge. This is this is the we love our baseball here in the lunchroom. I I I uh, I I uh, wish Bobby Witt was on the Yankees though. Well, the Yankees uh, Sanchez hit a couple dingers. So did Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner got a got a um, he got a uh, he got a grand salami. JJ Blade. I knew he had some pop, but not like that. 484. Where did he hit it? Did he hit it in the Kansas City Stadium, or was he uh, somewhere else? Oh, no, they're not They're not at home. Where's Kansas City playing? Are they in Arizona, or are they in Florida? I don't know. I can't. I don't, I don't keep track. I know, I know a bunch of the teams are in Arizona. The other one's in Florida. They're all in the bubble, quarantining. Man, usually those, uh, those parks they play in the spring training – Someone was probably sitting on a grassy knoll somewhere and it landed on their picnic basket. The Yankees have a monster waiting in the wings. Who do you think? Dominguez? Who's the monster? Walker. Shane. Shane Blaze. Hold the L. And Austin Hendrick. I know that's one of Crikey's favorite players. 499. Blue paper. Number. Numero. Kansas City's in Arizona. 
Cincinnati Reds going to Easy the Polizzi. Easy the Loin Hunter Polizzi. Dominguez is going to be a beast. You're probably right. I don't, they got a lot of, I know there's a lot of uh, prospecting going on with him. Houston, we got us a refractor Bowman first. Zach Daniels. Yeah, I was reading a thing on the ar an article on MLB talking about Dominguez. Carter Balmer for the B Town Orioles. Yeah, I think he is too. I, I mean, I hope so. I hope so. The 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 problem with the Yankees, Hunter Green, Reds, Holden Powell, Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn, St. Louis. So here's my here's the here's the problem is and all the Yankee people all the pinstripes, all the except for a couple few, it feels like the Yankees is that Noel on the Hill, Brandon PF Fat, and Angles, Franchise Futures, Detmers, and Calabrese. So I feel like Glaber suffered it last year. The Yankees. This is the Yankee syndrome. Uh, it's undeniable the Yankees, New York Yankees, transcends baseball. There's kids that run around in the streets in another country that have Yankee hats on. They don't even know why it's a Yankee. It's a cool logo. The New York Yankees logo transcends baseball. It's undeniable. You can't deny it. You see it in movies. You see it in. You see it all over the place. Everybody's got a Yankee hat on. It's 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 a. It's a logo of a phenomenon I don't know how to understand, okay? There's Yankee fans across the country. Then once a person gets old enough, they realize what Yankees is, and if they happen to fall into the baseball world, which, you know, baseball's big in Japan, baseball's big in, you know, the Dominican and the Mediterranean countries, they realize, oh, I'm a Yankee fan first. People will become Yankee fans before they understand what a Yankee is. And <laughs> at least I'm not sure defensively. I'm not sure either. So what happens is Yankee, the New York Yankees, people become Yankee fans before they understand baseball. And Yankees is, the New York Yankees are the biggest, you know, the biggest profiting company. And I believe people grow up playing baseball, wanting to be the Yankees, thinking that's the... That's the high water mark. All I want to do is become a Yankee. And face it, believe it or not, the Yankees got the deep pockets. They they're willing to pay. It's 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 a true fact. I, I'd say this to Jim Carlos Stanton is the number one number one patient of this syndrome. He got the big money contract, and I think he's played maybe uh, you know. 30% of his time in the Yankees, he's he's only done about 30% of all uh, the times he's been on the roster. He's only been at bat about 30% of the times, maybe less. Last two years, he's only played probably about like 20 games. Once they get those pinstripes on, they're at bat at the Yankee Stadium. They fall off the mark. Not everybody does this, but it, I call it Yankee syndrome. And that's what I'm afraid about Dominguez. Um, he's going to get in. He got drafted by the Yankees. He, he'll come in and make his mark, be a beast for like two years, get paid, and then, well, my toe hurts. Everyone except Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. loved to play. I mean, you can't say that about DJ LeMayhew. Uh, I can't say that, you know, uh, there's there's a bunch of players on the Yankees right now. Uh, Brett Gardner is my favorite player because he doesn't do it. Brett Gardner, I feel... He uh he shows up to work with his lunchbox in hand, punches the clock, and he plays baseball. Some days he has good days at work, some days he has bad, but he's always there. And I, I, he's my favorite Yankee. Right now he is. I like I like Glaber Torres, but Brett Gardner, I like I like his style. We're gonna flip these over. I'm gonna try to. I think the auto was on the bottom last time, so let's try to do it the other way. I could be wrong with that. That's just my that's my opinion. You know, it's not facts. I usually am wrong most of the time, and I'm usually right hardly ever. Bryce Bonin, 
You got to respect guys, right? You know? Hunter Green, Holden Powell, Edley Roachman, Tyler Brown, Emerson Hancock, Francisco Alvarez, Jordan Walker, Shane Blaze, Hold Yell, <laughs> Carson Tucker, Christian Chamberlain, and here comes our numbered card, Patrick Bailey, blue paper to four ninety nine for San Francisco Giants. I, I have uh, I have another analogy. I always said another a person in football that reminds me of Brett Gardner did the same thing. No drama, just showed up, showed up with his lunchbox, punched the clock, and did his very best every day. I always said that for Marvin Harrison for the Indianapolis Colts. He was kind of uh, he he never really got a lot of glitz. I mean, he was he was recognized as a great receiver. He also did have a great quarterback thrown to him. Marvin Harrison did the did his job when the when it was his number was called. Love Marvin Harrison. He and he was a, he was a no he wasn't a showman. He wasn't all about getting the drama and all that. This was the time of you know Marvin Harrison played in the time of Terrell Owens and Randy Moss and there was you know there was a lot of shenanigans going on in the league. So much shenanigans they outlawed celebrations in the NFL, which was ridiculous it's like prohibition for beer drinkers uh but marvin harrison didn't sign up for that glitz he just showed up did his job and did a damn good job and uh went home lewis gill speaking of the yankees new york yankees Let me go. Lewis G I L. Toller, to, Toller, Toller, Soderstorm. Soderstorm, where was he? He was 26 overall. First runder here. Bowman first chrome for Oakland. Put that one on the mantle. Put that one on the shelf. Remember when he hits the bigs. How you been doing, Carter? I was just going to ask you. I, I was going to send you a message. Carter, are you interested in doing the fantasy league again this year? I believe you came in third last year. Fantasy, we're going to, I did send an email out yesterday. I don't know if you got it. To remind everybody, there's Evan Carter, Zach Britton. The fantasy league, we're going to be drafting our teams on the 30th. I was going to uh, send you an email. I know, you, yeah, you came in third last year. You, I, I can't believe you didn't win because you were dominating the whole year. You're a, you're a uh, what do I say, a fantasy baseball guru, I was calling you. Tink Hank, Toglia, Casey Martin, Bowman first, Chrome. And Brick Jarvis, 2020 card for the Diamondbacks. R.J. Dubovich, Garrett Crochet, Xavier Edwards, Asa Leakey, Shortridge, Clayton Beater, Max Meyer, Alexander Canario, Tink Hankey, Togley again, and Trent put his palmers on it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Next pack. Looks like the autos are on the bottom, so he ran into the Harper's hair. <laughs> I know, Lynette, Lynette ended up in third. I mean, Lynette ended up in second place in the league. First one was first place ended up going to. Oh, geez. I'm going to say Brem. Yeah, Bre yeah, Brems. Brems ended up taking first place and with a tie. What a what a finale for the fantasy league. Lynette came in a very, very close second. Some might argue that he came in first, especially Lynette. Logan Allen, Will Klein, Soler, Westberg, Espino, Cole Henry, Jay Grooms, Casey Schmidt, George Kirby, and there is the Drew Romo Reflector Bowman First Chrome. Ran into the Harper's hair.
Uh oh, maybe he choked on a little hair again. Maybe we brought up bad times and he took off. Matthew Liberator, <clears throat> Dirty Birds. And Ronnie Mauricio, Matthew Dyer, Keanu Cavaco, Minnesota Twins, Owen Cassie, Jack Blomgren, Max Mayer. This guy's good. He's got to be good. He's on the box. Just like eating Kellogg's Corn Flakes. If he's on the box, he's got to be good. Uh, our league is, uh, it's $100, Fly Fish Ego. We actually do have open spots. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it, oh, there's Torque, 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 Torkelson. Uh, we run it a little different, Jason. It's not a, uh, it's not a cash league, but it is a hundred, it costs a hundred bucks to get in. Uh, I'm thinking about them. It may get a little. We may raise it up. I may raise it up about ten or fifteen, maybe one hundred and fifteen. the The thing that was, it, it's unique about it, I got to finalize it. We'll, we'll try to get an agreement. The the thing that's unique about it, Dustin identified as the winner. <laughs> I think I won last year to the record. Just doesn't show it. Um. All that money goes in. Right now, I think we got confirmed about 12, 14 teams. I want to get, I'd love to get 20. We're going to, I'm going to open the rosters up. We're going to have more people on your team than normal. The rosters for baseball are deep this year because of COVID. Everybody puts their money in. Okay. And uh, let's say we have 12 people that uh, $100 a piece. That's $1,200. The end of the year. Uh, first place will get a hobby box of thir $300. Second place will get a hobby box of $200 of their choice. And the third place will get a hobby box for $100. Okay, first, second, and third will get a hobby box of lesser value from the top. Then the rest of the money goes into a pot, and I buy some cards to do a break. And, well, all the people in the league get a chance at the break. First place winner not only gets a hobby box, but they also get to draft the first team in the break. Along Last year, we did a couple in a row. I'm still looking. It depends on how many people we have. But first, so first has a lot of benefits. So not only will you get a hobby box if you end up first, you also get a team in the break. And everybody gets cards. So everybody ends up with cards. We end up, it's a break league, so to speak. So you're buying, you don't want to buy it into saying you're going to win cash. You're gonna buy into cardboard, and uh, it was a big it was a big hit last year. We really I, everybody enjoyed it, including myself. It's a it's a different one. It, a lot of people do fantasy leagues just for cash. Um, you got to look at it. If you're a cardboard addict, you're gonna get some cardboard. I still haven't finalized the price. Because I have a couple ideas. I was thinking of maybe doing, if we up the price just a little bit, we could do a, a, a maybe a $300 break at the All-Star break. Three, like a maybe a five, you know, a $10 break. Take $10 out of the kitty and do an All-Star break. Whoever's in first will get to pick a team for like a $300 break. <clears throat> They can pick the team first, but you know what? Even if you pick the first team, you may not get the hits in a break. That's what's great about cardboard is you never know who's going to get the hits. Milwaukee Brewers got the hit here. No one would have picked Milwaukee first in a break. Detroit would have came out first. Matthew Dyer, Keanu Cavaco, Michael Bush, Tyler Soderstrom, Case Williams, Reed Detmers, Mike Ciani, Gerard Encarnacion, David Calabrese, Nolan freaking Gorman, Levi Prater, Andrew Valgana, and Quinn Cotton. Right, Rob? What do you think about the all-star break idea? That's something I, I, I wanted to finalize. Uh, the our, We still got 20 days until the draft. So I'd like to, 
it, it, you know, I don't need all the money right up front, but I, I definitely need the money before the end of the year. But if we wanted to, I could take payments for everybody. If we wanted to up it just a couple more dollars, I could, I, I could put money aside for like an all-star break, break, all-star break, break. You like that idea, Lynette? Do like a, not a, not a grand break, but like a 200, maybe $300 break. And everybody gets to draft a team in the order the league is in. Whoever's in first gets to draft first. So, you know, you got something forward to do. You know, it's just not the end of the year that wins. You, you get some cardboard halfway through. Jordan Westberg. <clears throat> ah, cool. I'm glad you guys like it. All right, well then. See, sometimes I have good ideas. You just, just my wife never sees them. Baltimore Orioles going to OMG. Nice refractor. Jordan Westberg. Bowman first chrome. Alex Canario. Weston, uh, yeah, I do have spots left. Uh, I know Chad's in it. Let me put you in right now while we're sitting here so I don't forget. Because uh, I put down names and I always forget. <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll put you in. I know I have spots open. I'm not sure about everybody from last year. The people who haven't confirmed with me, I'm going to try to reach out. Carter was one I wanted to check. I don't know if he's going to play this year. That's the first. Actually, I got to say, I haven't seen Carter in a while. Weston, uh, you cannot cannot use this page while viewing league history. Okay. Weston, would you mind throwing up your? I I have it, but would you mind throwing up your uh, email? If you throw your email in chat, I'll uh, I'll invite you right now. <clears throat> I got dirt rat and. If, if Lynette doesn't get Harper, I'm not playing. I'm not paying. Oh, he's not paying. <laughs> I ain't paying unless I get Harper. That, uh, you and Dandy Andy will be fighting for that. All right. Westernbeard at yahoo.com. All right. Pay attention to your email. I'll send you the invite right now. I, I, li I like our format. Um I think it's a fun way. It's a fun way to keep track. We were talking about this yesterday. <clears throat> Fantasy baseball is so much fun. It's, I mean, if you love baseball, I don't. I I have a tendency to uh, glimpse out of the league, and I have a tendency to you know pay attention. I'll, I'll stop paying attention for a couple of days on the end. Or even weeks, but with fantasy baseball, you got to pay attention every day. You really got to keep an eye on everything. Doesn't guarantee you're gonna win, but it definitely helps. Freddie Zamora, fifty third overall, and franchise futures Seattle. Take a look, Weston. I just sent you an invite. And get yourself set up. Kyle Isbell, Connor Phillips, Mitchell Parker, Hudson Haskin, Ryan Murphy, Casey Martin, Corey Lee, Mark Vientos, Alika Williams, Dane Acker, and Carmen Malazinski. Yeah, so the way I'm looking at it now as a fantasy league, I'd like to ask everybody to put in 115 or even 125. 125 would be great. Right now we got about 14 people. I don't have a calculator handy. But you go 14, let's say it's just $1,400 for the sake, but we go 25 up. If we do, you know, that's going to, I'd like to have, I'd like to have close to $2,000 to play with actually, because the price of cardboard, the way it is, we take $300 or so, or maybe we just get a hobby box of something we all like at the time at the all-star break. Uh, I'll set it up. We'll, uh, we'll take at, at the all-star break, we'll take where your, the standings are and you'll get to pick teams for that break. Maybe we can find a couple boxes we can throw together. We'll do a break at the all-star break. Um, and then at the end of the season, the first place will get a $300 hobby box. Second, $200 hobby box. Three will be a $100 hobby box or something. 
And then from there, the first place usually gets the first and second pick or even third, depending on how many people we have and so on. Everybody will last year, everybody got two teams in a break, which was a $900 break. And, you know, you could walk away with a bunch of autos, even though you didn't win the league. <clears throat> You know, obviously, first place is where you want to land. You're guaranteed something, but we, yeah, we don't really do cash. We didn't do cash, so. All right, this is the auto. We got the thicky coming. Good luck, everybody. Let's get you some fire. D.L. Hall, jerk stud. No, no, no big Torkelson hits yet. Maybe this is the pack with the Torkelson. Weston, thanks, man. That's That's great. The more the merrier. We're, I'm going to open up the, the rosters really deep because of COVID. Right there, if you guys know baseball, I, I believe they're, MLB is letting the the, the franchise, all the teams uh, have, uh, they're putting more, what, six more people on the roster? I'm not sure. They're opening up the rosters. There's going to be a lot of people on the on the, uh, the, the teams this year, so we're going to have a deep, deep league. Logan Hoffman and Daniel Espino, Cleveland. What site do we do fantasy on? Hey, there's All Star Briggs, Dave. Uh, it's ESPN, just like last year, Dave. I think I did. I send you an invite. I, I think I sent you an invite. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll send you a link right now. Actually, I'll send you an email. There you go. There, there's the link, and I'll send you a quick email to remind you, Dave. You had what the Long Island River Dumpers? So I just sent an email to you that w whatever you have set up for ESPN. <clears throat> So there you go. Brennan Davis for the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, it's ESPN's uh, Fantasy League. Hey, it's Junior Lunch. What are you doing, buddy? You want to come in and drop some Junior Lunch knowledge? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, go ahead and say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. Well, that wasn't much. It didn't even give me time to drink my coffee. All right, what what what's what's good in, in the hood there, Junior? You don't know. Are you excited for baseball to start? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> How's baseball practice going, Junior? Good. I'm getting better at hitting. Yeah, yeah. Tell everybody how many hits you had. A lot. Yeah. Tell them uh, what 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 was the game you're playing batting. Was a, this hitting contest we always have to finish sit up, sit up. to finish off practice, and the last person standing wins. And you made it in the top three, didn't you? Yeah. All right, good job, buddy. High five. Crush that ball. Yep, one of those other two won. One of the other two won. Yeah. Well, good job getting in the top three in a hitting contest. I, I would definitely be in the last three if I was in the hitting contest, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that great at hitting. Yeah, I'm better. You're better at it. Jason Dominguez is our thick card. And Werner Blakely for the Angels. All right, so there's Jason Dominguez is numbered to 250 on the back. There you go for the Yankees. That's the thick card. I got bluffed. We got bluffed here. We go Yankees. Out of 250, Jason Dominguez. And then Warner Blakely out of 499 for the California Angles. Let me get my checklist up. Did you want to play the drums for it? Junior may bring up the dr drums. 
Jenny, ten fingers across the face. How about that West family? Warner Blakely is our next hit. Congrats to Jenny Ten Fingers. That is Ten Fingers. Congrats. Ten Fingers across Dan's face. Warner Blakely out of four ninety nine nine ninety nine. Oh, mom's working. Yeah, I better not play the drums right now. Congrats, congrats. Ronnie Mauricio, Nico Holsizer, Owen Miller, Zach Veen, Ryan Jensen, Nick York, Carson Ragsdale, Nick Bitsko, Jackson Kowar, Brick Jarvis, and Jordan Belazovic. Kind of glazed over it, but crikey, crikey, you got this nice Jason Dominguez. I haven't seen one of these numbered before out of 250. Glimpses of greatness. We got one earlier. Now you got one numbered. It's a refractor. It's a thick one, too. It's got, got some depth to it. Nice card there. All right, we're two-thirds of the way. Four packs to go. Good luck, everybody. The... The... We put the hits on the uh, the West family, the, the ho West household. They are walking away with all the hits. Let's see if we can spread the love. Good luck, everybody. Let's get some more fire. Nick Garcia, Rodriguez, Xavier Warren, Bobby Witt crushed a 484 foot dinger the other day. Slade Kikani, Duran Duran, Garrett Mitchell. Corbin Carroll, Daxton Fulton, Colt Keith. We were just talking about that guy. We were. We was. Levi Prater. Blue out of 150 for the Dirty Birds. St. Louis Cardinals. Going to Lynette. There you go, Lynette. Brick Bonin for the Cincinnati Reds. Refractor. Travis Swaggerty. Refractor. Pittsburgh. Carter, you just stepped away. I think you're back now. Are you interested in the Fantasy League this year? We were just talking about how you ran into Richmond's Harper's hair. You you dominated you dominated the league all year. PD helping. And then right at the end did not we thought thought you had the championship locked up but uh ended up in third. You're a fantasy league guru. Austin Wells, that's a first runder for the Yankees. Don't go Yankee Dankies. Don't go Crikey. Werner Blakely, we got the Bowman first Chrome Auto. 111th overall. He's got the auto over here. Now we got the Bowman first Chrome. Dominated the league and then got taken out by Lynette. <laughs> he was just saying that. <laughs> it's funny you should say that because he just said the same thing. J.J. Bladé. Yeah, you were destroying the league all year. It was it was your league to have. It was basically all us, all of us uh, peons just trying to find a pitcher that would start. There's Dingler, 38th overall. Luke Little, Torque, 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 Torkelson, paper. And, yeah, it was all year. It was like everybody, oh, no, we got to play Carter. Oh, no, we got to play Carter. And then at the end of the year, Richmond Harper's hair came up and told you, nah, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> There's Gonzalez is the first runner for Pittsburgh, seventh overall. Your pitching took a dump at the end of the season. Yeah, that's what's great about fantasy baseball. You just don't know. I mean, it's any kind of fantasy sports. You start out on fire, 
and who knows where it ends up. And sometimes your best player ends up in the basement. O'Neal Cruz in the basement. Nick Lofton, Milan Tolentino, Nick Swiney. All right, three packs to go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. We got Trevor Hoover. Ethan Hankins. Ricky Hines. Logan Gilbert. Isaiah Green. You going to give it another go? Awesome. Awesome, man. Riley Green. Mason Wynn. Brandon P.F. Fat. Trey Cruz. I don't know if you heard me. I was explaining how we're going to might. We're, I'm thinking about doing it this year. And so far, it's like we're going to maybe take some of the prize pool, the prize kitty, and have a break at the all-star, have a uh, cardboard break at the all-star break and have the person who's in first place be able to pick the first team and et cetera. Landon Kanak. That way, it kind of breaks it up a little. You don't have to wait till the end of the year to get your cardboard. You get some uh, halfway through. So if you're winning at the All Star break, you get a you get the first pick in a draft and a and a break. Marco Luciano. I'll tell you what. I'll send you a message right now to remind you. Just sent you a message through the uh, fantasy app, fantasy league. Sammy Infinanti, seventy first overall. Right, Carter. That sounds like a good idea, right? Good. Uh, everybody seems to like that idea. Ryan Rollison, Justin Lang, Addison Coffee, and what do we got here? Brady McConnell, True Blue card. That's that blue insert they put in here, non numbered for Casey Royals. And Franchise Futures, Tork, Tork, Torkelson, and Dingler. Well, there goes my alarm system. Miguel Amaya, Chris McMahon, AJ Volkovich, Tristan Lutz. Hey, can you do me a favor? Could you get me some penny sleeves there? See you're working out. Carton Baumler, Ben Hernandez, Anthony Volpe, Kaden Polakovich, CJ Abrams, Jordan Nawagu, and Hunter Bishop. Thanks, buddy. I love doing it, and I'm trying to pull myself on the back thing and try to stay active. Yes, do that. That's a good idea. It'll get your big muscles. Did we already do these? Justin Lang, Rollison. Yes, we did do those. All right, two packs to go. Come on, let's get the fire. Let's get the monster. We're due. We got the Ga Gar that Garrett Mitchell card. Let's get the Werner Blakely up. Let's go. Come on, Bowman. Do your best here. Jeff Criswell, Marco Rea, Tanner Burns, Hans Kraus, Ed Howard. Ed Howard getting a lot of market share out there. Yeah, it does. I'm thinking about drafting a bunch of White Sox players. I think they're going to have a great season. Robert, Mancata, Abreu, Anderson, Jimenez. Yeah, the 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 prospects in Chicago are sick, man. And I agree with you. Chicago White Sox look solid this year. I'm just I'm surprised they didn't go farther. I thought they were gonna make a good run for it last year. It really didn't pan out. I, I'm with you, man. I think Chicago White Sox. Is Vaughn starting this year? Or does he start? I don't know when he's going to start. Owen Casey, Jack Blomgren. I, I think 
Oh, Junior thinks the Dodgers have all the chance. I do too, Junior. Dakota Roby, Bowman first Chrome. Yeah, Chicago White Sox is going to be a force to reckon with. Dodgers have Trevor Bauer. Carson Tucker, Bowman first refractor. I don't know. Right now, Detroit seems to be tearing it apart. Detroit's how what's the what's the score on the Detroit Philly game? Is Philly beating Detroit? Alec Thomas, Tanner Burns, Hans Kraus, Cody Hose, Josh Young, Rutschman Chrome. Junior is smart. Randy Dean says you're smart, Junior. <laughs> he has a good memory. Yes, we keep saying that because I keep forgetting that. Ed Howard for the Cubs. There you go, Schneider. New guy Mojo getting some Ed Howard love. Two and one. Two to one. I can't go against the expert. That is junior lunch. Detroit's beating Philly two to one, huh? There's a lot of teams out there I think are just going to be unstoppable. Uh, Dodgers one of them. I think the Padres, you just can't deny the Padres with the Tatis power, as long as they all stay healthy. Uh, they've got their pitching. You know, they, they brought on Blake Snell and who? You Darvish. I mean, can't deny it. I even think I, I, if, if they pan out, Baltimore, all their, their lineup. Isn't that bad? A lot better than it has been. <laughs> Blue Jays are a team to reckon with. The Blue Jays look great on opening day, on opening spring season. Look at that Blue Jays lineup. They got Springer in there. They got Bichette. They got Biggio. They got Guerrero. Uh, who's that new... that? That chunky catcher there, Alec Calendrio, whatever his name is, he's not too shabby. And Danny Jansen's good. Weston says, the heck with the other teams, the Braves all the way. What about the Braves, Junior? Yeah, they've been both good. Who's good on that team? Marcel Ozuna. Marcel Ozuna. My son is a big Ozuna fan, right? He was a big player last year, right? Freeman should have been the MVP, some say. No, Marcelo Zuna didn't win. Who won the MVP last year? No, Voight didn't win the MVP. Um, DJ, did, Jay, did LeMahieu win the MVP? No, that was the batting title. Oh. Oh, is that Jose, Abreu? Jose Abreu won it? Who won? Who was the MVP last year? Jose Abreu. Yeah, because the loser to the batting title was the MVP. Oh, Freeman won the MVP. I don't remember that. Freeman was the MVP. Why did I think he didn't get the MVP? What the heck's wrong with my brain? I wish I had brain cells. Who won it for? The American League. Did, did Trout win it? Voight? Twenty twenty MLB MVPs. Oh, Abreu, Jose Abreu did win it for the AL. Boy, why can't I remember that? It's just not its not on my palate. Thanks, Carter. Thanks. I appreciate the hive mind support. <clears throat> DJ LeMay, who won the batting title. So he's won a batting title in both, league, both leagues. I thought he got MVP. <clears throat> my bad.
Yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can see that, Chad. I can agree. Freeman, Freeman's a horse. He's a workhorse. Shows up with his lunchbox, punches in, hits, hits thirty homers, calls it a day. Robert Hassell, Padres. There's one. That's a good one. Helio Ramos, Kyle Nicholas, JJ Goss, Ian Seymour, Jeremiah Jackson, Evan Carter, Zach Britton, CJ Vanek. Spencer Strider, Jared Schuster, Shane McClanahan, and Christian Chamberlain as my dog goes off. Sounds like my my security system doesn't care for Christian Chamberlain. Just started barking incessantly. Last hit coming up right here. Then we get into the Xbox. JJ Blade Refractor. <clears throat> Miami Marlins, Tyler Brown, Trey Cruz, Brett Beatty, Criswell, Marco Rea, and Nick Lofton for the KC Royals is our next hit. KC Royals, who ended up with Kansas City? Steve Wood. Nice hit there. Congrats. Yay! A little cardboard dust in there. I'm going to go shortstop Nick Lofton. Where was he? 32nd overall. First runder. Last pick in the draft, it looks like. No, not even. How did Royals round one, 32nd overall? How do you get it to be 32nd in the first round? This isn't the NFL. There's only 30 teams. Royals first pick. Is it considered the first round if you're the 32nd pick? Somebody smarter than me understand that? It's just the Royals first pick. But it, it's not the first round. Royals round one, 32nd. It's only 30 teams. They do all that trading and stuff, right? They The math doesn't add up, and I'm sure there's a loophole. Now that that doesn't make sense. I wasn't aware of that. I've never watched the draft. I get an idea how it happens. I know they trade spots, they trade players, they spend money to up and down their draft. There's a Riley Green for Detroit. Comp Compensatory or something maybe. 37 picks in the first round. How do you have 37 picks in the first round? There's only 30 teams. I don't know. I mean, there's there's a, there's money when your name has the if you're a first rounder, there's money put on your name. So they're just trying to up the value of the the draft. Rutherford, Franklin the fifth, Swaggerty, Landon Kanak, Lewis Gill, Drew Romo, Ian Bedell, Rutledge, Jimenez, Luciano, Tacoa Roby, and Liberator. That's the that new math. Is this? Is this the uh, the uh, what co common core common core baseball draft? What's two plus two and how do you feel about it? Two plus two is green and how do you feel about it? <laughs> it's common core draft. Oh man! Oh man! So there's our three autos. Not too shabby, not too bad. We didn't get all pitchers, which is a first. Usually we get pitchers. Got a Garrett Mitchell, class of 2020. Nice one. We got a Warner Blakely shortstop for the Angels out of 499. And then a Nick Lofton shortstop. Shortstop love. Is Mitchell a shortstop? Bats left, throws right. He's a first rounder. He's an outfielder. 
not a shortstop or outfielder, but not not as much as we love our pitchers here, we're not going to make it happen. Alika Williams, first round 1A. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> round 1A, maybe that's what they call it. <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I, I don't get it. 30 teams, there should be only 30 picks in the first round, right? I mean, I'm just a simple guy. I, I, I do math with my fingers. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's get you your X factor. The price of this keeps going up. Holy moly. I think it has a large part of doing because the cost to grade a card has gone up immensely, immensely, immensely. So good luck to everybody. This is a graded Bowman card. Lots of times it's a oh, lots of times rookie. We don't know what we're going to get. Let's see what we got here. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oakland Athletics coming in out of 31. Nice green one. Sean Murphy, gem mitt 10, rookie card, 8 out of 31. Sean Murphy, nice. I got to have more cowbell. Baby. Holly Petty, congrats on the Sean Murphy hit. PSA Gem Mint 10. You're making too much sense, Lunch. I know. I know. I hate it when I do that. PSA raising their prices on slabs. You just can't get any card slab for five bucks anymore. It is now like too much. So that is the value of this just went up in the last couple weeks. So Congrats to Holly Petty on the Sean Murphy out of 31. Nice gem mint 10 card. These are, I love the, I love this. I, I, I knew something too good to be true. There's, they're expensive as hell. This is not a $200 card. I don't think anybody will pay $200, but that box is, it was a $200 card. Now they sell the box for 250. That is not worth $250, but people are going to pay it. But man, well, there we go. All right, I'm going to do a little giveaway here. Everybody in the break, I showed you guys these yesterday. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to, instead of using them myself, I'm going to give away this to everybody that's in the break. I'm going to give this a, someone a chance to win this three-card BCW screw-down holder. Someone's going to get screwed in the lunchroom. Opened a Wander Chrome X the other day, but it was a freaking nine. Oh, that's not Boba Shet, says Weston. Where's my Boba Shet? Hey, no problem, Dustin. I'm going to give this away to everybody that's in this break. I appreciate it. Sorry, I, I showed up late to the call. I said at, at noon, and I showed up at noon 30. So I'm going to give this three-card screw-down holder away. Everybody who bought in gets a chance at this. So if you bought two spots, you get two chances. If you bought three spots, you get three chances. If one spot gets one chance. So we're going to randomize this. We're going to go to the Wheel of Doom, and this is going to be an added bonus. So good luck, everybody. Let's bring you over to the randomizer. All right, here we go. Here are all the people who are in it. All you players right here. Dave McCoy down to Dandy Andy. And let's go. We're going to go seven times just like we did the random earlier. Let's go seven times in the randomizer just like we randomized our teams. Good luck. One, two, three, foursome, five alive, 
Pick up sticks at six. And lucky number seven, whoever's on top gets the screwed. It's the new guy, Mojo. Jason Macusiston. I'm slaughtering. I'm gonna, I got to get you a nickname real quick. Jason. Congrats. You get the Constellation Prize. I'm going to call you Jason Big Mac Attack. Congratulations on that one. Nice one. Nice. Nice little Constellation Prize for you cardboard holic. Hopefully you're a cardboard addict like the rest of us. Um, I do like the looks of these things. I uh, may these may make more appearances. I I I think everybody. Jason Mack is good. There you are, Victoria. <laughs> Jason Mack, <laughs> big. There you go, Jason. I hope I hope you're a cardboard addict because this is coming your way. I'm gonna get it in all in bubble wrap and stuff because it it could it is a bit fragile. Uh, this will make a nice display for you. Congrats, man. Put you down here. Thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed the time here. We kind of have fun. I'm not a traditional breaker. I, I do go on tangents quite a bit. And there's times where it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours to get a couple packs opened. That's kind of what I do. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Jason, there you go. I'm going to just say Mick Jason. There you go. Set you aside. That'll be coming your way with your teams. Thanks for joining, man. And welcome to the lunchroom. There is more uh, in the lunchroom. I do have another one of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to whichever break fills next. I got two more breaks on the on the site. I got a four card one. This is even bigger than the one I just gave away. A four card one. This one, I'm going to upgrade the next break that fills will win. Someone will randomize that. Um, there, I, I don't have a whole lot of breaks up. Bring it over here. I do have the, I got a multi-sport break to get your football. The football box is an expensive box. Contenders, not so expensive. Um, that's $30 for a random team in there. Everybody will get a, uh, a, a an MLB team. Two people will get two extra. I'll random off two spots for the NFL spot. Got that going. That's 11 autos. That fills first. And then I've got this one. I'll tell you what. This Bowman Chrome is going for big bucks. I got a slab in this one. I got two slabs. I got a, a retired slab, a clearly authentic slab. Five autos in the tops chrome. That's an HTA. Five chrome autos, rookies, and then two autos out of the stadium club. So we're looking, that's going to be nine autos. Which one, uh, ever one of those fills first, I will give away that four card holder to everybody who joins in. So those are the other two going. I'm not going to be able to hang out for too long here. I do have to go to work at 4 p.m. today. We are, we're uptight busy, so I got an hour and a half. I got to get around here. So I hope you had a good time. Sorry I got on here late. Um, I've been going, looks like, just about two hours, hour and 48 minutes, it says. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to bring it down. I am tight for space. So I hope you had a good time today. Thanks thanks for the, uh, the generous. Uh, no, I, I want to repay all the love here. I know the price of cardboard is super expensive, and I, I try to put in little goodies here and there. Um, everybody saw that in the last package I sent out. I did send out some 88 tops, some 88 tops bangers, and some 89 tops bangers, uh, some wax packs. Try to give you guys a little bit every a little while I, that I can. So I appreciate the support. And I hope I see you around. On Friday, I will have a couple boxes of Dunruss. I'm not getting a, a case of it. I do got a couple boxes. We'll be Hopefully, they show up here on time. I did pre-order some. So, we'll be seeing some Dunruss here on Friday. So, if you want to check out that new product, swing by. Take a, keep an eye on the, the, the website. 
Thanks, Dustin. I want to say thank you to everybody who joined. I'm going to go down the list here because I can't say thank you enough. You guys are the best. The reason why I can keep doing this. Dave McCoy, West is the best. OMG, F cancer, man. Hope you're feeling better. Rob, Texas Breaks. Gary Schneider, new guy mojo. Jason, Jason Big Mac. Big Mac attack Jason. Got the three-card holder. Easy Polizzi, Dandy Andy, Mako Mark, Tombo. Blaze, keep the L. Steve Wood, Jenny, 10 fingers across Chad's, uh, Dan's face. Randy, Danny, Dean, Petty, Clyde, Petty. Hell's Kells from the West is the Best Foundation. To Danny Wicks, OMG again. Crikey, Holly, don't look now. The Vandals stole the handle. Mr. Randall himself. Chicken Rob. Eric Moore, Lynette, Dustin, Fishing for Cards, Weston, and Dandy Andy, the AP from PA. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I'm going to have to call it. I'm going to bring it down. It's a short one today, but we'll we'll be back. I, there's a good chance I'll be on tomorrow, and I'll definitely be on Friday. So be well and smell well. We'll see you.